We are going to start this part by first updating the navigation bar and also the application buttons. So let us go to Visual Studio Code. And then in here I'll just go to App and then Components and then Nav Bar. In here go to the navbar.component.html. I'll scroll down in here to find the items. And here, for example, for this home page, we have this A link. I'll just add in here so on the A link. I'll add a new property named router link and then slash. So whenever you click this button, the UI will be updated to the local host. Now for the feedback menu item, I'll just add in here on the A link. Just add in here router link and this is going to be slash feedback and of course if you don't have the feedback you just need to add it so I'll just go to modules and then app routes.ts I'll scroll down in here and I'll add another route which is going to be so the path will be feedback and the component I'll load is going to be the feedback component. Now since I have not created this component yet, I'll just comment out this line. So let us scroll up. So here we also have the search button. If you want, you can add the router link for the search button. So router link, this is going to be search. And of course on the app routes, you need to type in here that for the path search, we want to show the component search component. Now let us just go back to the app. If you click on the search button, you'll see that you are redirected to the search bar. Now you have details button, but nothing happens, only on trailer. So we need to add now for the buttons, whenever you click the details button, you should be redirected to the details page. And then whenever you go to the details page and click, for example, actors or view all actors in here, you should be redirected to a different page to show all the actors, the reviews and similar movies. So let us just go back to our code. So now I'll just go to the search and then search for BI and then BI I. So you can see in here that on the search component.html we have the details button. I'll just add to the A tag, I'll add the router link and that is going to be the details page. I'll do the same for the other button. So here, I'll do the same details. Now let us go to the details component. So details and then details.html. I'll just close this one and you can see that in here we have the button to view all actors. So for that, I'll just type in here router link and then we want to call details and after details, the actors. Let's copy this one. Let's scroll down to view all reviews. So details, reviews. And then we also have similar movies, but for the similar movies, we have not added, I think, a button to view more. Let us just do that right now. I'll just add it down here. So view more. Just change the text in here to view more. And then I'll change the text up here to view more as well. In here, we'll have now view more movies, so details movies. Now, if you want, you can also make the movie cards clickable. Like for example, if you go in here to app movie details, so I'll just go to the app movie details, I'll details movies in here, wherever you have this figure caption. And then in here you have the Basically, the actors, you can just make them clickable or here on the home page, you can make so on the home page HTML, we have the card and three, which is for a single movie. Then you have another movie in here. So you have two movies. You can make these cards clickable by just typing here router link and then uh, details. Let's do the same for the other div. And then here on the fan favorites, you can do the same. You can just type in here details and then details to this movie and also to this one. Let us not just save the changes and go back to the app. 
So we are on the details page. You can see that all the buttons are updated to be view more. So if I click in here, I'm redirected to details actors. Let's scroll down. If I click on reviews, I'm redirected to the details reviews. And then if I scroll down to the similar movies, the same way I'm in the details movies. Let us go back to home page. I've also made clickable all these cards. So if I click in here, I'm redirected to the details. And also if I click the card in here, I'm also redirected to the details page. Now this is how you add routing in the navigation bar and also on a button click. But you can see that whenever I click, I'm always redirected to the same movie. Now in a real app, based on the movie that you click, you should be able to load the data of that movie and to load the data, of course, you need a parameter. The parameter in this case would be the movie ID, which needs to be passed through the route. So for example, if I'm loading the movie details of a movie with the ID one, then I should be able to just type in here one, press enter, and then I should be redirected to the movie with that ID. And same goes for a movie with the ID two, three, etc. The same is true for the search. Right now, if I click in here, you can see that I always get the same response. It says in here, example movie. No matter what I type in here, it's always the same page. That is what we're going to talk on the next part, which is routes with parameters.